Presenting William G. Connolly, Governor of our Mountain State. On behalf of the people of West Virginia, I take this opportunity to congratulate the uh, company that is taking a splendid picture of our capital city. I'm sure that the people of the entire state will be greatly interested in this picture and it will be of future historical interest. After looking at City Hall from the intersection of Virginia and Alderson Streets, we call on the Honorable R.P. Devan, Mayor of Charleston. Mr. Mayor, will you favor us with a few words, please? Fellow Charlestonians, in making of our city's first motion picture in sound, we have secured a permanent record of community activities as found in Charleston during the month of August 1932. It is my sincere belief that this record will prove of great value to us in the future. But with the progress of time, many changes will take place. And 10 or 20 years from now, it will be indeed quite interesting to once again view our city as it was during the production of this civic motion picture. Mr. T. L. Kearse, through whose courtesy this civic film was made possible. Mr. Kearse needs no introduction to the Charleston public. My uh, dear friend, in sponsoring uh, our community uh, film, uh, it has been my desire to give the public uh, not only one of uh, some entertainment value, but uh, of historical interest as well. In our journey about the capital city, and noting all its points of interest, we come to the home of the Charleston Daily Mail, to whom is due many thanks for their splendid assistance and cooperation in making possible Charleston's first community sound motion picture.
And here we have the editorial staff of the Charleston Daily Mail. Mr. S.C. Damron, managing editor of the paper, now going to say hello to you. The Charleston Daily Mail has been glad to be able to cooperate in the making of this all Charleston movie. This is a memorial film. It depicts the civil, industrial, and official life of the people of Charleston, a city in which we are all proud. In producing Charleston's first all sound picture, its sponsors wish to thank the Weaver Motor Car Company, distributors Cadillac, LaSalle, and Oldsmobile Motor Cars, for their kind cooperation. The International Truck Company, another of Charleston's business firms, whose assistance in the production of this civic film is greatly appreciated. And now we present the Charleston Rotary Club at its, reg at its, its regular Friday noonday luncheon. Fifteen years from now, if some of you come back and look at this picture again on the screen, possibly you won't recognize this street. Maybe some of these buildings will be, oh, possibly 25, 30 stories high. Things will change and all that. And the picture itself will be amusing. And if any of you in the house recognize yourselves on the street now, as we go down on this truck with a camera, I think what you're going to look like 15 years from now when you see this picture again. In the distance there, we have the United Fuel Building. Notice employees up in the top, up in the windows looking at us. Now, if you notice know, just a little bit of a slip in the picture just at that moment, why, we can account for that by saying that I came very near falling off this truck. Notice we even had the privilege of going through that red light. Of course, you can't tell if it's red in the picture, but then it was. It was red, and we came right on through it. Watch as we turn the corner from Capitol, from Poirier into Capitol Street. We're all going to go off of here in a minute.
You notice the young gentleman on that car just got on there with a Panama hat. He seems to be enjoying this, getting a lot of exercise from it or something or other. Now that we have successfully turned off the Capitol Street under Lee Street, and haven't lost the camera, and I haven't fallen off the truck, and our cameraman, Mr. Obach, is still with us, we're up in front of the new telephone company's building, or rather, the telephone company's new building, I should say. And now we're looking directly down State Street. Now let's go see what we what else we can find in the city of Charleston. And here we are on Charleston Street at the intersection of Tennessee Avenue. At the moment we look down Tennessee Avenue. Looking down Charleston Street toward the west end of the city. Glimpses of Charleston at Worship.